Thank you for staying with us. Do you know that the term governance is derived from the Greek term kopimao, meaning to stare or to direct? This means the practices and activities such as administrative, political, and legal affairs to be performed by the government for the development of the country. The, publica the publication of the World Bank's report in 1989 titled Sub-Saharan Africa from Crisis to Sustainable Growth defines governance as the traditions and institutions by which authority in a country is exercised. This considers the process by which governments are selected, monitored, and replaced. The capacity of the government to effectively formulate and implement sound policies and the respect of citizens and the state of the institutions that govern economic and social interactions among them. The predominant features of governance include participation, following the rule of law, transparency, responsiveness, consensus oriented, equity and inclusiveness, effectiveness and efficiency, and accountability. So today we're asking, what is the responsibility of the youth in all of this? Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. You could also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WaysShow. Mm. So when I saw this topic today, I was like, <laughs> yes, we're back. We're back. We're back to talk about good governance. Yeah. And, you know, we always say that it starts from us. It's okay, it's, it's okay for you to, you know, go out and then vote. And, and that's why I like what we're doing with the Enough is Enough mm -hmm. Office of the Citizen, you know, just to be able to educate people because there's something we've realized that there is actually a political illiteracy yeah. in mm -hmm. town now. So people yeah. don't even know. All they know is, oh, we're going out to vote. And then if you ask them, who's your local government chairman? Mm -hmm. A lot of people know. don't know. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are directing questions that should be directed to the local government chairman, to, to the state governor. government, yeah. to the president, you yeah. know. So we need to stay aware. We need to understand that we have our responsibilities we have our rights the other day we talked about our rights and responsibilities as citizens we have our responsibilities as the youth as well to maintain good governance right and that's the essence of um this conversation tonight mm -hmm. and again thankfully we have enough is enough um, the publication to actually mm -hmm. guide us yeah. while we have this conversation but then mm -hmm. let me just hear from you ladies briefly well um, i think you've said it all it's um high time um, I mean, in, in, in the grand scheme of things, yeah. the, the voices you will hear now would be the youth, you know. Everybody's seeing the problem, but we fail to understand that we must see beyond the problem. We mm. must begin to look towards the solution. solution. And the solution is us taking a stand to say, okay, you know what? I choose to, to, to do this. Again, when we talk about good governance, I think most of the time we just... I don't know, maybe consciously or unconsciously, we, we forget that followership has responsibilities. Of course. So for you to demand accountability from your leaders, for you to expect that they should do right by you, you need to be in the place of that responsibility to understand that you also need to do your part. If you don't know that you, you should ask them, if you don't know that you need to hold them accountable, for them, it's just going to be business as usual. And mm -hmm. they will just think that, I mean, the people are good with it. So until we begin to stand up to, to, to you know, bring about these issues the right way, because there's also the wrong way, the right way, we follow the due process, you know, then I think that um, we, we, we are not really doing so much, mm -hmm. you know, that we should and that we're capable of doing mm -hmm. as youths. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I totally agree with you because um, just piggyback all of what Adiola was saying, youth are a majority yeah. of the population that we have in today's yeah. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, you know, it's funny because back in the days, um, what was considered youth mm -hmm. was up to like 30. Mm. You, um, it, it was just recent, in, recently during the not too, when the not too young to run, to run yeah, bill yeah, yeah. Came. finally oh. came into play. Yes. It, it initially was for something for all the people, people. Yeah. you know, leadership and all of that until that um, act yes, came that's... in and it was open for young people to be able mm. to hold positions of authority, hold uh, uh, positions of leadership and um, were still in that journey yeah. right but 
the importance of the youth cannot be overemphasized. True. This is where the strength of the nation is. Yeah, absolutely. And if we do not put perspective to the resource called the Nigerian youth, mm. we will waste what we have. I think in the past, most of the leaders, it was, I don't want to use a word that is common, mm. but it was like, oh, wait for you your know. turn. Mm. But now we've seen that it's in the prime of, of your youth mm -hmm. that really you can be, you, you can bring out the best in you, True. right? True. And if we engage the youth constructively, yeah. and that's why I love what uh, Enough is Enough is doing in the place of information, yeah, yeah. because like you rightly said, um, it's important that people know that they carry potential, mm -hmm. whether it's in the place of keeping leaders accountable yeah. or even rising up to leadership opportunities. opportunities. Because we have been able to establish you're not too young to run. Mm -hmm. you, there are people who have qualities that people can emulate, yeah. whether they are old or, or they are young. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very important that we harness the resource in terms of information, in terms of preparedness, in terms of mentorship, mm -hmm. yeah. raising leaders, raising people that will take over. You're not going to be there forever. Mm -hmm. So when you are going, who is going to replace you? Mm -hmm. And if there's nothing to learn from your leadership abilities, then what are they going to offer the community? Mm -hmm. So it's a, I think it's a very symbiotic relationship yes. where you were feeding off one another. Children. We can't mm -hmm. do without the old because yeah. they have the wisdom, they have Absolutely. the experience yeah. and the expertise. Yeah. Yeah. But we also cannot do without the young because they have the strength, Change. they have the zeal, mm. they have the passion yeah. to drive whatever uh, decisions that are for the benefit of the community. Yeah. So when we harness these two, when we, when we merge these two, then you can see that we will raise a community that continues to churn out the right kind of people, not just in the Nigerian community, but mm, anywhere in the world. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I like, absolutely. I like what you said, absolutely. That's absolutely. very profound. Yeah. Yeah. So let's, let, let's now narrow it down now. So first of all, because the truth is, most people don't even know what their responsibilities are as citizens. Mm -hmm. And now let's now come to the youth. What exactly is the responsibility or what are the responsibilities of the youth you know in in the role of good governance in in nigeria even as a citizen right what i think the first responsibility is to abide by the constitution yeah so how many of us know us the constitution exactly i was what going to is say the that. constitution saying a lot of people don't know we don't even know so you see, this, this is why I said there's so much illiteracy yeah. around. Yeah. And we're not yeah. pointing fingers of here. Course, of even, course. How many of us yeah, on this no, table exactly. really know yeah. everything yeah. that yeah. resides in the Constitution? Yeah. So yeah. you know, the other day I was somewhere, then someone asked, oh, what's the, what's the second stanza of the national anthem? And a lot of people froze. They were like, um, okay, I don't remember. And I'm like, it's funny. Because that's a little more profound. Yes. That's a constant. It's, it's yeah. actually part of the Oh, God of creation. Oh, God of creation, yes. It's, it helps you even, the national pledge, yeah. the national anthem. You, it, that way you even know what it is that, you, what makes you a Nigerian in mm -hmm. the first place and what mm -hmm. you should stand for as a Nigerian. So I've, I've realized that a lot of people don't, they're not even familiar with things like the national pledge, things like the national anthem. They don't even know the legitimate authorities. It's as little as knowing that, okay, the um, FRS is in charge of yeah, road services. High, highways knowing stuff, that, you yeah. know, the, the LOMA is in charge of waste management. Some people don't know the bodies that are responsible for what. They don't know who is supposed to do this thing. If anything like this happens, the other day we were talking about, uh, what's the conversation we we're having again? I think we we're talking about, was it human trafficking or something? And I remember it was NJ. We were saying, oh, okay, so what body are we supposed to report to? Mm -hmm. Is it NAPTIP? Is it, <laughs> you know, and... These are things that we yeah, actually need yeah, to know. So first yeah. of all, your responsibility is to actually abide by the constitution, be familiar with the legitimate authorities, know who and who is responsible for, for what? what at whatever whatever time it is. Know the, the, the um, hierarchy, you know. Yeah. Okay, we're going from this person to that person and that person. And I think that's, that's one very mm, mm. Um, important responsibility as, in, as a Nigerian. I like that. Um, and again, um, I also think that in knowing the hierarchy, mm. it's important that part of our responsibility is to understand what each of these 
um, these offices what, what they're supposed to do. Yeah. You know, so you know that, okay, at local government level, this is what is expected at state level, at federal level. Because, again, it, it goes to why we focus so much attention on the presidency yes. during elections. Yes. And the honest truth is you can't even at the grassroots level experience democracy through the president. Mm. The closest you will get to democracy is it's local, local government. It's local yeah. government. So if you are not even experiencing that, and then of course we have so made that position so we don't that we don't even care when it's local mm. government elections. Election. Nobody yeah. cares. I mean, people come out. You know, nobody cares. So we we just let this and that. Mm. You know, people who are so people see it as let me just go there, make whatever I need to make, and no, nobody's holding me accountable. I mean, for someone like me, I was shocked when we had the guest the other day, mm -hmm. you know, Electoral mm -hmm. College, yeah, okay. and he was saying that you can actually okay. sue. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. I was like, really? Now I am interested. <laughs> 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 Local government elections. Because, you see, from that level, if we can build... Yes, I know some people believe that you have to build from top to bottom, but mm -hmm. I also think you can build from the ground up. If your local government chairman or chair lady understands that, listen, this seat, there is no, um, what's it called? There's no... There's no room for being like a desicle. Yeah, and then there is no... It, the law does not protect you. Mm. Like, you can be sued. Mm. Even if there is a godfather somewhere, he's going to You're tell that person that, ah, oh God, you know they cannot sue you, but they can sue me. So please, let me do my own job first. Mm. You understand? And gradually, gradually, gra me, I've always believed sometimes the change we want may not be so drastic. It's, it's, it's a process. That's it's amazing. a slow process. But we must understand our own role in all of this mm. for Absolutely. us to grow. You know, so. Absolutely. Yeah. Just a comment there. I think uh, another key aspect is culture. Ah. the Nigerian culture. I mean, when you were saying some people don't know the national ad because a lot of people cannot identify mm. as Nigerians. Mm. And that's the real truth. With all that is going on now, a lot of bad blood is going on as well. Yeah. The elections revealed a lot to people and mm. they're like, are we really one Nigeria? <laughs> is the question. So people are questioning what are we doing as a country? Do we even need to remain as a country? You know, those concerns are burning at the forefront. Mm. And there is where the government, whoever the government is, will have the responsibility to unify the nation through the decisions that they're making okay. at the uh, the uh, presidential level, at the government level, at the state level, mm. you know, and across the local governments. Because when Nigerians begin to have a sense of togetherness, mm. even in our diversity, we say that now, unity yeah, and diversity. Unity diversity. Yeah. Well, do we really practice it? Do we look out for one another? When we're saying proudly Nigerian, are we proudly <laughs> Nigerian? Proudly Nigerian. <laughs> right? If you're saying living in unity, can you even live in unity yeah, with your God. neighbor who <laughs> is from another tribe, mm. right, from another state? Mm. You see when there's an opera, there's riot, all of a sudden somebody who is living in harmony <laughs> suddenly becomes your enemy. Mm -hmm. And you're wondering, how did we know. get to yeah. this point? So Nigeria needs a complete reorientation, a mind shift to bring a new culture, a new system of operation so that when we begin to foster, I remember when South Africa was in that position, yeah. it took several, I mean, I remember watching a movie, it took their rugby team to play um, at the international level for both the blacks and mm -hmm. the white South Africans to play in one team. Together for people to begin to see that mm. these things are possible. So it would take a lot of reorientation mm -hmm. to help Nigerians begin to feel a sense of identity and a sense of culture in what they are doing and then begin to take ownership of Nigeria. Mm. What we're seeing is because a lot of people are not taking ownership mm -hmm. of Nigeria. Nigeria yeah. does not belong to me. 
In fact, there are times when they will say, oh, I'm not even Nigerian. Mm -hmm. They will quickly bail. Yeah. But you see other people, they say, oh, I'm American, I'm yeah. this and that. Even though you totally know <laughs> that you are an immigrant or yeah. something, mm -hmm. but you have a sense of ownership. I think that's when we begin to build in the place of our culture, our, our cultural heritage, mm. it will help to foster that sense of responsibility for one another and begin to help us even in our gov in our strive mm. for good governance. Mm. Mm. That's, that, that's very true. No, I think another thing is community engagement, mm. right? So we need to learn to make positive contributions to our yeah. community because yeah. the truth is that it actually begins with you. You know, I say this, you live on a street mm. and the drainage, the road, I understand that it's the government's responsibility. But who throws that. those things who, inside? Exactly. You have an S, you, you have an estate community, right? What have you done in the meetings? What yeah. what have you what suggestions have you brought up? What 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 has your what is even your contribution in that environment? What have you guys done? Have you mounted a gate? Have you done? Have you what have you done? You know, so community engagement is actually one of the very primary responsibilities of of the youth as um mm -hmm. as citizens. So we need to learn to make meaningful contributions to the well-being and also to the progress of our community. I think another thing I would also want to mention is paying taxes. Ha, ah, that's a big one. <laughs> you know, most people don't declare their income, yeah, honestly. They don't. That's, that's the truth. Mm. But because we, they we, don't trust the system. Uh, well, a just like you said, a lot of people would not come out boldly mm -hmm. to say they are Nigerians. They will tell you, oh, we will not come out to claim that we're Nigerians because we feel like the system is not even making us proud enough to be Nigerian, you are your own right? uh, PHCN. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are your own... Uh, they don't bring uh, all the amenities infrastructure. For, your, for yourself. You do everything for yourself. So you're wondering what really is the government yeah. doing for you. But then it begins... But it's still... It's, still it's, it's your requires, responsibility. Yes. It's, yeah. it's your responsibility. Because I'll, this is one thing I would actually applaud Lagos State mm. for. I mean, to a large extent. We're not there yet, but yeah. to a very large extent. You can see that our taxes are... Yeah. Maybe somewhat, somewhat. Yeah. I would say somewhat working yeah. in this... In this States. I don't know about any, I've not lived in any other states in Nigeria, but then in Lagos, I think this is mm. actually working. But then I would also want, I would want to, you know, um, indulge the youth, declare, especially those that have now started the small and medium enterprise businesses. Yeah. It's very important that you declare your income and yeah. then you pay your, your tax. taxes. Yeah. Your taxes. I'm okay. sure some people are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. so I also, I mean, when we, we when this topic came up and all that, I also thought that um, one of the key things as youths that we have to be very mindful of, it's actually a responsibility, is to be mindful of the information mm -hmm. we carry, we share, we distribute. I'm not sure many people know that information, the wrong information can burn a nation. Mm. It really, the effect is so, because mm. you say something not true, it, it has gone out of your, yeah, it has gone out of your hands. Like wildfire. Mm. And that's it. And people now, things now escalate and at the end of the day, you discover it's all false. Mm. But the damage has been done. Mm. So we need to, yes, there's a whole lot of passion. Yes, there is, well, almost free media. Yes, mm -hmm. oh, I can do what I can do. Nobody can hold me. There is, you know, freedom of this, freedom of that. But we must be mindful that as powerful as our freedom is, we must not abuse it. Mm -hmm. We must rather use it to build an inclusive and cohesive society. If we want night, because I mean, really, at the end of the day, everybody jackpots. It's not everybody that can jackpot. Mm -hmm. Some people will still remain. Absolutely. So I mean, sometimes yeah. I, I've I've had a major struggle going back to Twitter. <laughs> Twitter was my first love, ah, but it's uh, I I, I put Twitter in my head. Twitter. I see all the yeah. and I take off, Twitter literally, is, yeah, is. because I'm like. My goodness, this is really toxic. Yeah, I mean, is. and then the way they come for anybody, it's good to keep people accountable, but the venom, you just see that a lot of people are bitter. Yes, a yeah. lot of people 
are down. Mm -hmm. So they are looking project, for yeah. where to just yeah. project their anger and their hatred mm -hmm. on. And um, it's, it's really sad to know that this is where we are. Mm. And it can be better because imagine that that passion, again, is channeled in the right direction. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it, was, it would yield much more uh, results, results. Mm. Than, mm. than what we're seeing now. Mm. Mm. Okay, um, I'm glad we've touched on a couple of um, responsibilities, mm. Mm. but then let's take a short break and then when we come back, we'll continue the conversation. Mm. If you're just tuned in, we're discussing good governance, the responsibilities of the youth. Please let's say what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038-4663. You could also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. So we've spoken about abiding by the constitution. We're talking about yeah. paying taxes, living in um, unity harmony. and yeah. harmony, unity yeah. and diversity. We've spoken about being proudly Nigerian, mm -hmm. you know, claiming that you're Nigerian. Mm -hmm. Now let's 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 come to the electoral um, or the governance process. Now you know yeah. when Noma was talking about the chatbot, she, she talked about RSVP um, VP, yeah. and then we know that the RSVP is R for register, S for select, V for votes, and P protect your votes on election day. I mean, that's we've gone through mm -hmm. all of that, although mm -hmm. some states still have some gubernatorial elections yeah. to go through, and this might come in handy as well. So as a responsible youth, a responsible Nigerian youth, not a lazy Nigerian youth, you know, <laughs> <laughs> part of your responsibilities are the RSVP to register, yeah. um, to register to vote, to select credible um, leaders, to vote, not fight, and then to protect your, your vote. I think we have an image of that. So if we have mm -hmm. that, we can just flash that um, on the screen mm. meanwhile. So, um, yeah, I mean, we've talked about, I remember when we're doing the um, voter sensitization yes, during yes, the election, yes. we spoke a lot about things mm -hmm. like yeah, this. We yeah. talked about the your PVC, your PVC you know, yeah. protecting yourself, your vein, how your being vein is your personal. Making sure that yeah. you're registered. Making sure, yeah. that, yes, making sure that you're registered, knowing, being familiar with your polling. Yeah. Again, yeah. now this brings me to thanking enough is enough, the office of the citizen, again, because now via the chatbot, you, you can actually send messages with your polling mm -hmm. unit yeah. and then you will get, you know. Where your, the location of your polling unit. Yes, and all. yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So um, very importantly, it's important that you, you register, you select, Mm -hmm. You vote and then and you, you protect. protect your your votes, right? Well, some uh, people are still recovering from the experience of this election. I am the some past people. Election because some people were willing to protect their votes. Yeah. Some people were, they did everything. They selected seemingly credible mm. candidates. They didn't fight, you know, and they voted and then things happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like so uh, it's uh, it's tough. Well, I, I think I want to use the opportunity to encourage people. Sometimes uh, they say that the the break of the dawn mm -hmm. is usually the darkest yeah. moment yeah. in the night. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's not even the time to give up. Mm -hmm. It's a time to keep fighting, fighting with your vote, because this, uh, the, like they say, Rome was not built in a it day. It wasn't. That we have struggled and we didn't get as much of the results that we were seeking to achieve does not mean that this is the end. Yeah. I know a lot of people were, we have had conversations with people and they said, oh, I believed so much that my vote was going to make a difference this time. It did make a difference. It may not have made as much difference as mm. we would have wanted, mm. but it's a beginning. It's mm -hmm. a start. Mm -hmm. The more we are consistent, the more we're persistent, the more we keep fighting, one day we'll get there. It looks like forever, but definitely we're going to get there, Absolutely. surely. Absolutely. I think I would also like to add, when it comes to selecting credible um, leaders or candidates, yeah. as the case may be, it's very important that we look out for competence and capacity and put away every form of sentiment because I saw that happening a lot mm -hmm. in this um, past election. People are still struggling. No, but you see, that can only happen mm. if the people who no emerged for at party level so that's always the problem. Yeah. Everything starts yeah. from the party level. Yeah. So if 
competent people were not, not selected mm -hmm. from party level. So if we, we all keep saying, oh, I don't want to get involved in politics, mm. it's dirty, then we'll keep having the same set of people. True. Which brings the, begs exactly. the question, how many of us are registered? Even though there is the school of thoughts that mm -hmm. would say that, oh, we, we don't see credible parties to be part to of. Be, yeah. We still struggle with what the ideologies around some of the parties, mm -hmm. existing parties mm -hmm. are. And even though some people did see one or two mm -hmm. parties that mm -hmm. looked like the ideal, mm -hmm. uh, 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 that, that they were focused on the ideals that resonated mm -hmm. with them, they still did not get the results that we're looking for. But like I said, it's still we are still trying and we're still making progress okay. little steps but yeah. the more we keep pushing yeah. then we will be able because now it has been it what i took away from the elections was that we hadn't seen people being put on their toes like they were put we, yeah this, yes. yeah. this yeah. election yes. Yeah. yes people now felt the need to do something extra mm -hmm. compared to before when it was like oh it's it's, it's a bag. given yeah now you see that there is power mm -hmm. in your re and your responsibility as a citizen to keep the leaders accountable, then they know that it's no longer a walk in the park, mm -hmm. that I need to put in the effort that is required. If mm -hmm. not, I will be voted out. Mm. Yes. In fact, you just even, you thought on where I was going to pick, pick from. You know, that's the beautiful thing about democracy, actually. Mm. You can actually vote people out for non-performance, right? So, yeah, it's okay to say, okay, maybe we didn't have credible people. All right, then we now decide, okay, maybe we should give them the chance. We, I mean, this is the lesser evil of all. If the person comes into power and then you see the person is not doing whatever, it is actually your right and your responsibility to vote the person out for non-performance. I remember when we had the lady, the lady um, the pushing the enough is enough yeah. campaign. She mentioned that about a popular um, senator that she actually spoke with over the phone. And then she said to him, okay, no problem. I'm just going to share your number. And then we'll just come to the front of your house. And the man panicked and he was like, no, uh -huh. it's not that deep. Like, yeah. What do you want? <laughs> you know? So we actually have, and that's what most people don't know. Yeah. People, people are not aware that you can actually vote these people out for non-performance. Mm -hmm. So if at any point in time you realize that this person that you have voted in is not carrying out what they are supposed to do, please, please, and please, you have, you have every right, as long as you have tangible reasons, yeah, right? Yeah. So they, Especially if the person has had maybe like a debate or a manifesto or something, and you said they are not going by the, the promises that they have made in that um, manifesto or whatever the case may be at the time, you, are, you can actually take, take them out. And I, I love that part. Mm. So, interesting. So, so much, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So what, let's talk about protecting our votes. I know we touched on that a yeah. little bit. And then, you know, we spoke about how that didn't really play out in the past election. We saw a couple of things happened mm -hmm. here and there. But then, like, Noma has tried to encourage us. Because even when I needed that encouragement, let's not be dismayed. <laughs> if we have to go out to vote again in another four years, please, let's not look at what has happened now and say, Can oh, we vote our next chairman out? <laughs> No, I don't think it's an appointment. It's an so appointment. if you are, if you vote in the right kind of people and they yeah. appoint the right kind of people, yeah. then the processes can be as transparent as, as we possible. want it to be. Yeah. Yeah. So it still boils down to our responsibilities as citizens. When we call out leaders, when we yeah. say, okay, these are the things, this is not working. Mm -hmm. Can you do something about it? I know that times where they have these uh, petitions yeah. that people write right. and you can when you get the numbers mm -hmm. nobody has the authority to to counter that yeah. they have to pay attention mm -hmm. so i i think we keep the more we keep pushing the, it's not a time for us to Sit be you know feeling up, down yeah, and yeah. give up yeah i think the more we push like the quotes that we use today the people, as in, don't underestimate <laughs> what people, people whose minds are set, so it, no matter how little they yeah, are. Yes. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world. world. Indeed, it is the mm -hmm. only thing that ever has. When people are pushed to the world, they will find a way to push mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. So I think that should be our power, and we should use it intentionally and deliberately. Mm -hmm. 
That's right, um, Noma. So very importantly, register, select, vote, vote and protect mm. your votes. And um, we're also still looking forward to receiving your WhatsApp messages and your contributions. I remember that you can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa, one with the hashtag Wayshow. So um, now, I mean, closing off on, on this now, do you have any final words? Hmm. As, well, first of all, you must identify yourself as a citizen of Nigeria. Mm. You must believe in Nigeria. You must be committed to Nigeria. And you must understand that you have a duty, you have a responsibility to the growth and development of the nation. Because as long as you reside in the country or as long as you, 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 um, you identify mm. as a Nigerian, then the, the, the good or the bad, you know, it would always, you know, it's a part of you. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if it can be good, and if you can contribute to your own quota to make it good and great, why not? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have nothing to lose. To lose actually. Absolutely yeah. nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I'll take it from where, Jola, because we are talking about the Nigerian. You know, a lot of times, again, we throw a lot of blame. blame. Gov yeah. I mean, the government has its own part that it needs to take ownership for. Yeah. But, but we as citizens need to take ownership for our individual actions. When we do not do anything, that's an action. Yeah. Not doing anything about a situation because you feel you can, that's an action in itself. And definitely there's a, there are consequences. When we don't do things, things go wrong. Mm -hmm. When we do things, no matter how little, it, it's a right step in the right direction. Yeah, sure. yes. And then when we individually take responsibility, as little as what you're supposed to do in your office, or your job, mm -hmm. or your community, where you are. What are you doing? How, uh, it's not just enough to hold the leaders accountable. Mm. How are you holding yourself accountable? accountable? What are you saying about Nigeria? There are a lot of messages. We talked about bad uh, 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 news or mm -hmm. spreading, spreading fast. False news, People, yes. you say, they say, keep forwarding to <laughs> who and who. Maybe it gets to the president or it gets to who and who. But the truth of it is that how much of good information are, are we also spreading? Mm. Mm. So what are we saying with our mouths? Right? We cannot expect, they say that it's a, the, the definition of a fool, right? Mm -hmm. Is when you keep repeating the same, same, thing. So, uh, the same yeah. thing over and over and expecting a different Very result. Involved, yeah. We cannot continue to cry woe, woe, mm -hmm. woe and expect that Nigeria is going to change. Be better. Some of the nations that we're looking at today did not become what they were. Mm until some people started speaking some things into power when you remember the likes of uh, um what's the activist the the martin luther, luther king, king jr. jr when he was saying mm -hmm. i have a dream we're quoting some of those things but in the context in which he said what he said mm -hmm. he was looking at a future america that would allow the black man to be able yeah. to own his citizenship yeah. Yeah and be able to be part of restructuring of the system of America. Mm -hmm. That is, anyway, supposed to be the United, United States. States. So a, un a, a unity of Different. diverse people. Yeah. Yeah. So if we take that away and we say, we're diverse people as Nigerians. Mm -hmm. How are we integrating us? How are we understanding ourselves? How are we trying to live in harmony? How are we trying to be assets mm. to our nation? Then it's a ripple effect. It's not just something for one person. It's for all of us. Mm -hmm. And every part is very important. Whether you're a cleaner, whether you're a driver, whether you're a manager, you're whether you're sphere, that yes. one you're doing yes. in your you're cleaning the road. Mm -hmm. You are cause you are preventing cholera. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. True. So you will not even see it in that perspective. Mm -hmm. So when we begin to change again, like I had mentioned earlier, mind shift. Mm -hmm. When we begin to change our mind to Nigeria is me. What I do, mm. what I say, how I act represents Nigeria. It's not just the ambassadors that yeah. represent the yeah. country. We, wherever we carry ourselves, people will say, you're from Another Nigeria. Yeah. It's our conduct. It's the words of our mouth. It's the actions that we carry out that will show whether or not we are true citizens and we are living in good governance wherever we find ourselves. Yeah, very mm. true. Thank you so much, Anuma. Um, I think you have a, you have a comment. Okay, let me. Yeah. I, 
Um, okay, yes, I do have a comment, and this is, okay, from our Waze regular fan. He says, <laughs> good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying, hashtag Waze. Good governance and the responsibilities of the youth. The youth have to be ready for good governance, and it is not only by utterance. A lot of action has to be involved. Mm. We need to register, vote, select, and implement. Governance is meant for the matured mm. and not for kids. My name is Daniel Ilo, mm. your Ways regular fan. Thank, Thank you, you Daniel. so much, Thank Daniel. You, Daniel. Thank yeah. you. Okay, Jola, you have a comment. Yeah, this one says, um, good evening, my sister of Ways. What we need is grassroots education. This is what can save our country. Mm. I agree. That's, that's actually very true, right? And so if we now look at things like what um, the Enough is Enough campaign yeah. is doing, I think we also need to look for ways to actually penetrate yes. certain areas. Because the communities. The truth is that the market woman, the pepper exactly. seller, the organizer, these people actually also yeah, the need citizens. to know. They're, 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 they're the and citizens. they need to understand that they also have responsibilities to play as well. So they don't just wait till that time when the politicians come out for campaign and then they are giving them Empty bags of rice and whatever and, yeah, it is. I'm and then that's you. what is now informing their yeah. decisions at the time, you know. So I, I, that person is actually very, is very actually correct. very correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so on this note, I hope that we have truly and indeed learned and understood that we indeed have rights and responsibilities most importantly responsibilities to play in the part of good governance you know we say it every time on the show that we always talk about good governance good governance good governance. but then how are we participating how what are we doing to ensure that in nigeria we begin to experience good governance i always ask this good governance we're asking for are we also ready for it. Are mm. you ready to forego those bad behaviors? <laughs> mm. Are you ready to let all those all those things really go? Ask yourself that question. Mm. Anyway, before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram at We Show Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, follow all our social media engagements. And remember to like, share, comment, and invite your friends and family to watch us and follow us. If you missed today's quote, here it is again. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that has ever has that ever has ever has. This is by Margaret Smith. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Thank you, ladies. <laughs>